A high-level energy executive is the latest prominent figure to die in an obscure way, only adding to a long list of similar events. 39-year-old Ivan Petrin allegedly fell overboard while sailing in the Sea of Japan over the weekend, his body being recovered on Monday. Just days earlier, he attended the Eastern Economic Forum hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who voiced his grievances with dissidents and journalists who acted against the interests of the Kremlin. The journalist who was given this sentence, I don't know all the details, he wasn't only a journalist, he was also an advisor to the head of Roskomos. He made money not only from his journalistic work, but gathering related material and transferring it to one of the Western intelligence services. How fair is the term of the sentencing? I cannot judge. Petrin's death, also coming just eight months after his former boss, 43-year-old Igor Nosov, died from what was characterized as a stroke. They're two of a long list of businessmen with ties to the Kremlin that have died under mysterious circumstances since the start of the year. Reveal Maganov was the vice president of Luke Oil, who allegedly fell from a window. Yuri Voronov, a top executive at Astra Shipping, and Vladislav Ivaev, a former vice president of Gazprom Bank, were both allegedly shot. Sergei Protenya, a former CEO of Novatech, allegedly murdered his family with an axe before hanging himself. And two high-ranking officials at Gazprom, Leonid Shulman and Alexander Tulikov, both found dead in the same gated community and suspected suicides over a couple weeks, but some reports state that they were beaten. But one thing is for sure, there's been a series of deaths of businessmen with ties to the Kremlin. It's just a question as to whether it's been a string of bad luck or something much more nefarious. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 